and uh, in this video we're going to be uh, looking at another interview question and uh, this one is uh, palindromic uh, string so basically a, a, str a string is palindrome uh, when uh, it can be uh, reversed uh, and when it's reversed basically it makes the same string for example uh, bob um, if you reverse like, you know, if you reverse the string, it's still going to be Bob uh, versus like Foo is not a um, is not a, a good example of a palindromic string or not a palindromic string. Uh, right. Um, so basically, the characters that read same uh, reading backward and forward is what makes uh, a string palindrome. Okay, so the interview question is basically you're given a string and you need to find out if uh, it is a palindrome or not. Okay, so uh, think about this um, problem for a minute. Uh, there are several ways to solve this. Um, and uh, and uh, yeah, so you can come up with several solutions, several different solutions and uh, uh, see like, you know, if you can uh, come up with uh, like, you know, the most efficient one. So we are going to take a quick pause here uh, so you can pause the video and uh, then come back uh, to see the solution that we have got uh, in store for you okay so uh, we're gonna take pause here i hope uh, that went well um so we're gonna take a look at what potential solution that we came up with um so basically uh one solution that can be is uh, basically creating two pointers and uh, one uh, pointer would start from the beginning, another pointer would start from the end. Now, when you compare these two uh, characters uh, for those indexes, when those pointers are pointing at uh, the beginning or the end, then those two, if those two pointers uh, point at the same character, of, or like if the character is equal, then you increment the start pointer and decrement the end pointer. The goal is that you're running two pointers from front and the back, and you're trying to uh, basically come in the middle. Now, this way, you only need one iteration, and uh, your solution is going to be O of n time, time complexity. And whenever uh, those pointers meet in the middle, that's where you end the loop. And you say, um, basically, uh, whether those two characters are uh, those two characters at those two locations for each, uh, every, like, you know, increment or decrement are equal or not. And at any time you find they're not equal, you actually optimistically return false. Okay, so that way you end your loop right there. Now, this solution works for both even uh, string, even number of uh, characters in a string, and odd number of characters in a string. Okay, so that's the solution uh, that we've got. And let's take a look at like, you know, quickly, like how um, the code is going to look like. So you're going to basically uh, take an array. So uh, in Swift, um, string can be converted into an array of characters by using array and passing the string into that. Um, and basically, that returns uh, character array. And then you create uh, in uh, i, like, you know, a pointer i is equal to zero and a pointer j that is equal to the count minus one. So basically it's pointing the end, uh, the last element in the array. And we say like, you know, while loop and we say uh, while i is still less than equal to j. Okay, so while uh, run this loop, while i and j are uh, like, you know, not equal to each other, so they don't meet, that's the middle point that we are actually trying to get to. Now, um, then you say if uh, the element or the character at ith location is equal to jth location, so basically if they're pointing at zero and and uh, the last, so in case of Bob, they're pointing at B, which is at zeroth index, and uh, B at the last index, then uh, those two are equal. So you increment I uh, to make it one, and you decrement J to make it zero, one, two, so one again, like, you know, uh, now um, because Bob is of length uh, two, Right. Uh, so then uh, you compare, you say like, you know, okay, increment these and go another loop. Now you 
your i is one and j is also one. That means this loop is gonna uh, end and we're gonna return true here, okay? But if let's say if this was case of foo, uh, the character at i, which is f initially, and j, which is o, are not equal to each other. So it's gonna go into this, um, this else condition and we're gonna immediately return false because we know that there's no point moving forward from here as we found the, um, uh, the different uh, strings. So uh, their positions are different. That means uh, they are not going to make a palindrome string, palindromic string. Okay. So that was the solution. Let's take a look at uh, the solution in the lab and we can augment this a little bit more to basically um, make it uh, also um, uh, basically uh, make it consider if user is passing. Uh, capital or like, you know, lowercase or uppercase characters and stuff like that. And we are also going to basically make sure that we ignore the um, uh, the special characters. So we, we only consider alphanumeric uh, characters uh, while comparing. So all that we can actually augment it into our solution just to show you like another variation, because sometimes you're only asked during the interview to do the palindromic. You can ask the follow-up question that, hey, uh, does this string contain any capitals? Or like, are you assuming that input is always gonna be in lowercase? Uh, that's one question. You can also ask another question saying uh, whether uh, if the uh, string is gonna have any special character and should I consider those special characters to be part of the comparison? So uh, if they say no, uh, and they say like, you know, they can pass any case, lowercase, uppercase, any case, uh, then we need to consider all those things. So we're gonna see a solution with that example in mind. Okay, so let's go ahead and build out our function. Spelling room is given a string. So, I mean, nil check and everything you can always do if like, you know, if the string is empty and stuff like that. So we're gonna just ignore that. Um, we are simply gonna say uh, lower cased, okay? So this is how you lower case your um, a string. So in case if user is supplying mixed cap, mixed case, like capital case, uh, lower case and stuff like that, we are going to convert the, the entire string into lowercase and then convert it into a character array. Then we're going to create our start pointer and end pointer. Now we're gonna say, uh, we're gonna run our while loop, say i is less than equal to j. Run that loop till that time. And um, we are basically uh, going to first uh, do the comparison. So we're gonna say array at i is equal to array at j. Then we can say i plus equal to one. So we increment our uh, start index and uh, we decrement our start pointer and decrement our end pointer. At any point, if we don't find those two, two to be true, we simply return false. Otherwise, we run through the loop to check all the other. And if it reaches, if it reaches at the end of the loop, then we say, yeah, this is actually uh, a palindrome. Okay, so with that said, let's go ahead and um, test this out. So we're gonna print and uh, we're gonna say, we're gonna test Bob. So is palindrome Bob in a string? Okay, so Bob is palindrome, so that is true. Foo is, sorry. I should have. Okay, foo uh, is palindrome. Yeah. So, I mean, you can easily solve this by input is equal to foo. And we say input here and input here. Okay. 
So watch what happens if I say Bob, and if I put this, um, so, or uh, like, you know, if I say this, it's also false. It's like, you know, basically uh, it is true uh, for simple case, but let's say if our interviewer asks that, hey, um, you need to, consider where like you know you have you only compare alpha and alpha numeric values okay so we can do that uh, we just need to create a function to check if uh, it's alpha numeric of uh, num okay we take a character and we return a bool okay so um, what we can do here and we can simply return if character is number or yeah is number or character is letter that's how you check basically if it's a number or um letter then you return true right otherwise you return false okay so in here we can actually simply modify our function a little bit saying if your array at is index, right? Um, or basically if alpha num for the array at is index is equal to false, right? And i is still less than j, then we say i plus equal one and continue. Okay, so we're gonna continue the loop. We're not gonna, uh, so continue loop means like, you know, go to the next iteration. Don't continue forward, right? Um, and uh, is alpha num for array at j is false as well. And i is less than j, right? In those case, decrement by one and continue. Okay, so it's going to skip uh, those like, you know, characters and uh, basically move our pointer. So let's say if our pointer was initially pointing at um, at this B and the colon, right? So it's going to check is B uh, alpha num? Uh, yes, it is. So it's going to basically skip this and then it's going to reach here. Then it's going to say uh, is colon alpha num says uh, no, uh, that means we're gonna decrement j, so we're gonna move our pointer to b, and then I'm uh, gonna go back. Now, i is still less than j, less than equal to j, so we're gonna go back, and we're gonna do those checks again, and uh, we find that everything is okay. Then we compare those two characters, we increment and decrement if they match, otherwise we return false, and we continue through the loop until the end, uh, until they meet the two pointers meet each other and then we return true okay so let's go ahead and run this and there we go um bob with colon actually is um is uh, a value well rule okay now uh let me take a, another example uh, and this is a common input that's been given so a man playing a canal panama okay so if you give this input, um, there are two things that are covered here. There's a capital case, uh, like, you know, there's some capitals in here, um, capital letters, and there is a colon uh, and there's a comma, okay? So we get like, you know, variety of things uh, that are being, uh, uh, that, is, that are like, you know, sort of happening here. We have spaces and everything, so it's gonna get considered as well, okay? So we just do it and uh, we get true. So that's actually true now. If you change anything here, it returns false. That is correct. Okay, so this was a solution for checking palindrome. Uh, and uh, once again, thanks again for watching and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.